Cover 1974 presents Murdoch's Express. Murdoch is a heavy goods engine who works on the island of Sodor, and this is really all he does. He's never really pulled that many passenger trains. I mean, he has a long time ago, but today he mostly just sticks with goods work. However, he does yearn to pull passengers again. He misses the good old days back on British Railways when he did used to pull them. He often watches as other engines pass by pulling passengers. Hello there, Murdoch. Hello, Alfred. Uh. What's wrong, Murdoch? said Murdoch's driver. Oh, I just wish I could pull a passenger train, that's all. All the other engines get to, and yet I don't. Well, Murdoch, that's what makes you special. You're a heavy goods engine. Including is that you're one of the best heavy goods engines on the island. I guess you're right. Let's head off to the yards. <laughs> Meanwhile at the yards, the other engines were having a chat. So, how did your New Year's go, Thomas? said Boko. Oh, it went well. A little boring, after all. Also, well, it was boring mainly because I had to spend my New Year's Eve at the works. Why at the works? Well, some daft idiot decided to put oil on my track, tracks, and then I ended up derailing. Where at? The stupid pond again. You ended up, yeah, this time since there was no that, like, railboat thing, I ended up crashing straight into the lake. I was lucky I was able to be hauled out since it was so cold. <laughs> Just then, Murdoch puffed in. Oi, can you keep it down? It's too noisy. And plus, who had this brake van? Oh, sorry about that. Ugh. Whatever. Thomas, do you mind moving? I need to get onto the turntable. Oh, oh, of course. I just need a rest for a bit. Um, what's wrong with you, Murdoch? You're not your usual self today. Uh, I've just been thinking. Thinking of what? Pulling passengers. Passengers? I thought you liked pulling goods. Since, you know, you like pulling goods since they're not too noisy. I know that. Like, I love pulling goods trains. It is peaceful and quiet. What I just meant was is that I do hope, want to pull passengers occasionally. It's not like I want to be a permanent goods engine for the rest of my life. Especially since we can't die unless we're scrapped. Exactly. I don't want to be pulling goods tra trains for all out my life. Immortal life, practically. I want to be able to pull different trains like passengers or even specials. Uh, I wouldn't want to pull specials if I were you. What do you mean? Do I need to remind you of all the specials I pulled over the years? Like, I've pulled a bubble, I pulled a balloon, I've pulled bubble mixture, I pulled a jet engine, I pulled many other trains. Trust me, those specials are not as important as you think. They're pretty boring. Oh. But passengers, I can understand. I remember back when I was station pilot, I yearned to basically pull passengers or any other type of train. Yeah, it would mention something about that. Express coming through. Ugh, they're lucky. They get the pulled high-speed train. Well, they are the express train from Napford to London. You can't really expect anything else from them. Uh, I know that. Maybe if you ask Sir Topham Hat, maybe he will give you a passenger train. But who can handle my goods? I'm the only one that can hold my length. Hmm... I have an idea. What if I pull your goods? Do you? You can't handle my loads. Maybe, but maybe if I get another engine to help me. Hmm. I'll think of... I don't know. So Tom Hatt would probably never agree. Now, I gotta head off. My break is over. I have another train to pull. What are you thinking of, Thomas? I have a plan. I just first need to discuss it with Edward. See you guys later. See ya, Thomas. See ya, Thomas. Now, Boko, do you have my payment? Uh...
Ah, what a lovely nap. Now I'll be ready for my next train. Beep, beep. Hey, Edward. Edward. Oh, hello, Thomas. Hey, Edward, do you think that, do you think there's another engine on the island that can handle Murdoch's goods? Why do you say that? Well, I was thinking, what if... So, why do you ask that again? You legit didn't hear me. Sorry, sorry, I saw 16 over there. Oh, come on. Anyway, I was asking, do you know any other engines that can handle Murdoch's goods? I want one of them to pull Murdoch's freight trains while he pulls a passenger train. Why would he want to pull a passenger train? Well, he says he's growing tired of pulling the normal goods. Hmm. I guess I could try to find one. Thank you, Edward. Now I have to head back to my branch line. Alright then. Alright, let me see who we can find. And Edward soon sat off to find another engine. Meanwhile, Murdoch was being ready to head off for another freight train. Ugh, I wish I had some more to pass into the train as a pool, instead of just plain goods. Murdoch soon chuffed over the Bay Bridge. And was soon preparing for his downsend. Then, Sir Topham Hatbins was there. Murdoch, wait! Uh, what is it, sir? said Murdoch. Pip and Emma's broken down on the Bay Bridge. What? I just came from there. On the bottom track, they've broken down. How? Uh, I haven't been told yet. Just please go help them. Alright then. Murdoch soon chuffed away to go help out. Meanwhile, nearby the Bay Bridge. Pip and Emma were moving very slowly, trying to make it across the Swiss crossing. But they finally broke down. Ah, oh, great, said George. And this is my fault. It's Pip's fault. No, it wasn't. It's your fault, Emma. You were pulling me. You were push pulling back. Was not. Was too. Was not. Was too. Fear not. I'm here to help. Huh. You can't pull us. Are you sure about that? <laughs> How? Us 9Fs are more stronger than you think. <laughs> Meanwhile, near the yards, yards, Thomas had finished his branch line duties and was helping disassemble one of the trains Murdoch had brought. It was a very heavy load. Uh, come on! Come on, please move. I think you should take it easy, Thomas. Yes, I know. Ah, oh, nuts. Shit, the coupling broke. Don't worry, I'll be over there soon. 16, can you move that brake van? All right. Why am I never used anymore? Don't worry, Thomas. I'm coming. But a problem then. Thomas then bumped the crux. You go ahead and put him in the yard. Thanks, Boko. Now this is a little more easy. Okay, I'll leave him here for right now until we can get until we can move into a bigger yard. Yep. Is that Murdoch? Boko, can you please move? I'm gonna go see if that's Murdoch. Alright. A 
I wonder if we've been able to find him in passenger train. Wait, Thomas. Oh, forget it. Murdoch pulled in with the heavy train. So Topham Hat was impressed. The passengers soon got out and told Sir Tom Hat what a smooth ride Murdoch was. Hey, Murdoch. Oh, hello there, Thomas. What happened? Pip and Emma broke down near the crossing, so I brought them back here to the station. Wow, that's great. It is. Although, I wonder if this will be enough to prove that Sir Topham Hat I can pull passenger trains. Oh, after this, I'm sure he will. But I gotta head back to the yards now. Boko's probably wondering where I am. Thomas, come back here and help me. Right, I'm off. <laughs> Murdoch, take Pip and Emma to the works. Yes, sir. And with a lot of heaving and a lot of hauling, Murdoch pulled the two t broken down diesels all the way back to the yard. Well, to the works. I told you, Boko, I can't help you right now. Well, I need you. Can you please move? Oh, yeah, sure. So, how did your passenger train go? Well, kind of well. I can't believe we broke down, Pip. This is still your fault. No, it wasn't. You're the one that was pulling me too hard. You were pulling me. Afterwards, after he was taken to the works, well, they were taken to the works, Murak pulled into the station. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I did, Murak. I heard how you did with the passenger train today. Many of the passengers actually adored how smooth you ran. They did? Yes, they claimed it was one of the most smoothest rides they have ever had. So, with that in mind... I have decided to allow you to pull passengers more often. Such as pulling the commuter train when James has to pull goods or something. Oh, thank you, sir. You are very welcome. Guys. <sighs> Edward had just finished with his train. I had found someone to take over Murdoch's goods trains while he could pull some passengers. Dudley. Oh, uh, Mur- Uh, Edward, I already been told I can pull passenger trains occasionally. There's no need to worry. Oh. Uh, I'll just go back to the sheds now. I finished all my work anyway. I feel bad now. I'm sure it'll be fine. Then... Oh! Oh no, not him. Oh, hello there, Murdoch. We meet again. Spencer! What will happen next? Well, that's a story for another day.